Hey guys, it's Adrian here of Legend Landscape. Uh, it is Labor Day. Happy Labor Day, everyone. And I'm out and about uh, just checking on my properties here uh, just for the coming week, just checking on details. But something I wanted to bring up uh, that I'm seeing quite a bit now uh, is with the sycamore trees. Uh, just crazy leaf drop. As you can see, have all this leaf drop here. Um, you know, leaf drop as so. And we just cleaned this up uh, last Thursday. Last Thursday. Um, and a couple times during the summer, we have done this. Um, and I know it's from my experience, it's from just a lot of stress, heat stress. If it's been really some hot, hot days. Uh, let me just show you some more here. That they tend to drop uh, during these times. And uh, we've had some hot, hot weather recently. And e even the time before where it was dropping, we had some hot weather then too where the heat index was crazy. Um, but it's just crazy to me because sycamores... <laughs> I wonder if that's how the name came up because it's making me sycamore <laughs> uh, of what, what you have to deal with here. Um, let me show you some more here. And just to show you, you know, people that don't know sycamore trees, they usually have, you know, nice smooth uh, bark and then they shed um, as well. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I can show over here. It's not much on this lawn area here, but a little bit. But we've cleaned every so often, and as I'm walking, I see some leaves drop now. Um, in this case, uh, it, you know, it, it's something that, you know, especially, especially on this property, that uh, anytime we remove leaves, I mean, it's something that's being charged. Uh, for it, so it's not like a bad thing in the sense of work-wise, because anytime this happens, we do the work and we we bill for it um, on this particular pro property. Um, but you know, after a while, you kind of just like ah, you, you you like the, the the lawn and the beds to be cleaned, and when you see you just do it, and then boom again. And mind you, it's not even um, fall yet. You know, as far as leaf removal in November, December, uh, here we are just the beginning of September, but I've seen this in July, uh, and I've also seen it obviously with the, through August here, and to the beginning of September. So, I'm sure you guys are, and I'm in the Maryland, D.C., Virginia area, the DMV. Uh, this happens to be Rockville, Maryland that I'm um, that I'm at now. Uh, a lot of times I usually reach out to the University of Maryland uh, Extension uh, just showing some signs of things just to see if there's anything different that I don't know. Uh, people try to tell me it was anthracnose, but I know it's not that. Um, you know, obviously a disease that can happen to this, this tree as well as other trees. Um, I know how the leaf looks when, when it's a thracnose, and I know it's not that. I know it's more from the stress, from the heat. Um, we've had some temperatures that have gone from, you know, high 90s, heat index filling over the 100s. And I think we had a storm last night. I think I heard rain. I don't know how much of, a, uh, of an issue it was. It might have helped with some of this leaf drop. But I just know... Uh, just from my own experiences, but I also, like I said, I reach out to the Extension, um, University of Maryland Extension, and usually I get a lot of answers back depending on, you know, when I have some answers about disease or symptoms of something, if it's turf or if it's, uh, uh, you know, trees, if it's something that I'm not sure of, and, I, and they give me pretty good answers, and a lot of times they use a lot of my pictures and, or, you know, they ask for permission to use the pictures and, um, you know, on the website, what have you. So, 
I, I, you know, it's to being a, it's a holiday. I did email, but I'm just waiting to hear back. We'll see what they're going to say. It's probably going to be similar to what I already know it is. But it just uh, drives me crazy when you deal with this during the summer. <laughs> and um, just me personally, I just love stuff to be cleaned. I can't stand uh, leaves or debris to be on, uh, you know, lawn and bed areas. I know in the fall that's expected, but here it is, like I said, September. And uh, we're dealing with this through July and August. So anyway, if you guys are going through something similar, I guess, you know, drop me a comment. And uh, if you tree specialist, as you probably uh, many of you guys out there, you know, drop some uh, uh, comments. I can show you what the leaf uh, is looking like if you if you guys can probably see this is what it, they're looking like um, maybe I can get some more down here I don't know yeah now maybe I don't know if you guys come up with something different and saying Adrian you don't know what you're doing, this is what it is, this is what you should do, then go ahead and say that too. But anyway, I'm just going through my properties, checking on things, things for the upcoming week here, even though it's a holiday. Uh, I'm keeping busy, trying to be ahead of things, and I'm glad I came here to see this. You know, because Thursday, we, we just cleaned it up, and there was nothing here. So, anyway, I'm out. Let me know what you, uh, what you feel, what your experiences are with this. And uh, we'll be back with you later. All right, guys, thanks.